Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be showing you our very first week of trailer renovations. So we are so excited about this project. If you guys didn't see our last video, make sure you check it out. At the end, we made a huge announcement that we have decided to move back across the country to our property in California. And we are going to be doing a cross country road trip in our trailer on the way there. And not only that, we'll be staying in the trailer once we get there. So we knew we had to renovate this space and make it work for us. So we can't wait to show you guys what we're going to do. Now, when we bought this trailer three years ago, it was brand new. It is a 2017 Coachman Apex 22 QBS. We got it when it was just Joel and myself in copper and we didn't need another bed. It did have a jackknife couch, but that didn't work for where Bennett could sleep. So we have torn out the couch and we are going to be building him a new place to sleep. We are obviously also painting. You can see some unpainted and painted things behind me. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you do and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss what's coming next. to the trailer while the baby is taking a nap and I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that we've done so far. Joel came out here while it was making food just a second ago and started taking this cabinet apart but this light he's having trouble disconnecting the power to it. He needs to remove it all the way because it's like through the cabinet and we are taking this cabinet down. So our current plan is to take this cabinet and actually put it down here on the bottom and then we are building a bench seat in the slide that is going to also be where Bennett sleeps. So before there was a jackknife couch there and it just wasn't going to work for Bennett to sleep on because it had a big like crack in the middle and it was there was a space between the back of it and the wall which means that he could like roll down behind it and we didn't want to deal with that. Plus this way we're going to get storage like down low where he can reach it and we can have some of his toys and we're gaining about a foot back of the trailer. So that'll be really nice. The other thing that we did is we took the cabinet out right here. This one is still in, but we're taking that out next so that we can turn the bed sideways. So we will gain this much space back of the floor and it's gonna open it up a lot in here. It doesn't seem like much, but it is going to make a big difference. Heading into the hardware store. 
still has his mask in his hand. And we are gonna get what we need to start our trailer renovation. So I just have a small list of mostly paint things and then just a couple other things that I know we need. Joel has a different list in his notebook too. His list looks a lot different than mine. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna show you everything that we got from the hardware store today. And I probably don't have much time until the baby wakes up. So let me just go show you what we got. Okay, so we ended up going with the mid-grade paint supplies as was recommended by the guy at the hardware store. We got some paint brushes, some rollers, we got wood screws, we got a square, we got some tape, this is the primer we decided to go with and it says you don't have to sand so hopefully that is the case. We got this crud cutter to wipe down the walls and cabinets. The magnetic paint is for the refrigerator. The spray paint is for all of the handles and hinges from the doors and then we needed the spray foam insulation for certain areas that didn't get sealed. Okay guys, so today we are working during nap time. We're going to see how much we can get done. It's been a few days since we went to Menards to get supplies and today we are just going to try to clean up and get everything sanded and ready to paint with the primer. So we're going to also try to get all this stuff out that was in the cabinet. So. We're going to empty things out. We're going to take the mattress out and try to prep everything to start painting. Also, it's like probably 90 degrees outside, if not hotter. And we just have this plugged in to a regular outlet in the house. So we do not have the ability to turn on the air conditioner. So it's hot. Second cabinet is out. I'll never buy a new trailer again, but I feel like what you learn about them, especially tearing them apart, would mm -hmm. be such a good bargaining tool when you're buying one. Or they probably just tell you to bring off. We are looking more and more crazy the longer we're out here because it is so hot. But we are going to start wiping everything down so that we can get ready to paint. I don't think we're going to paint until at least the baby goes to bed tonight, but it might be later than that. We'll see how far we get before he wakes up. But you can't paint when it's this hot with this high of humidity or the paint does weird things. I'm not sure what, but it says not to paint in these conditions. <music> went down for the night and we are going to get some stuff done. I'm going to start by taking the handles and hinges off of all the cabinet doors and then we are going to try to get everything taped and get one coat of primer up. So we're going to start with this end of the trailer where the bed goes and then we'll work our way back towards the bathroom. <music>
so yesterday we finished our first coat on this end of the trailer it's looking much brighter and nicer in here already but today we'll probably try to get a second coat on here and then hopefully that's all we need and we can just paint over top of that hardware store we just got a few things we forgot a couple of flooring samples and an extra paintbrush we also got our paint we got a satin finish and we left it ultra white to keep it nice and simple and clean all right guys so today is officially day three out in the trailer and we are going to start with our first coat of actual paint we're not sure if we're actually ready for that but we're gonna try it anyway to see if we can be done with priming. We've done two coats of primer on this end of the trailer and you can see like this back part that was really dark you can still kind of see through but we're not really sure how thick we need to get this before we paint. The paint that we got is paint and primer so we're hoping that we can just start with it now and it won't matter. We painted the slide earlier today during Bennett's nap and we're going to try to just paint over that so we'll see how it goes. <music> but I don't know how much work we're gonna get done today. But yesterday, Joel stayed up until about three in the morning working on stuff, but I had to go to bed because I had to get up with the baby. So we're about to go in and see what he accomplished. Oh, it looks so good in here. So it looks like he basically finished painting everything that we've started painting so far. I think he ended up doing two coats of the regular paint and I think that's going to be good. It looks good to me. So that just means this end of the camper is done. We still have to do this whole part. But I know he really wanted to finish that first round of painting because he really wants to start building in the slide and we had to finish painting the slide before we started building. The last thing I'm going to do this week is spray the handles for the doors that we already have taken off as well as the hinges. And I'm sure some of you are watching this and screaming at me that I am spray painting my sidewalk. But I did not figure this out until it was already too late. That is going to be it for this video, you guys. I hope that you're enjoying our renovation videos. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss what's coming. Bye, guys. I'll cut that out. <laughs> but when you're in a trailer, really every inch counts. And uh, that's what she said. And that's all I have. Back to you, Katie. Oh my. God.
We're gonna have a little bit more room in here now. They should have done this in the beginning. I don't know why they didn't. You're screaming. I love you so much. We have turned our bed sideways. The we end. should have more room in here. The end. Thank you for watching.